Infosys has been called a company in transition for a while now, but uh, well, uh, the management, if you talk to them, will tell you that uh, they've moved on from that phase. Uh, in Davos here, there are uh, five top executives from Infosys, including Mr. Vishal Sikka, who's here with me right now. And of course, you'll hear from Mr. Sikka later. With me right now is Mr. Uh, Praveen Rao. He's chief operating officer with Infosys. In a way, uh, the common link between the last management team, top management team, and the new top management team. Is that the right description? Yeah, in, in a sense, yes. I represent the uh, continuity. continuity. Uh, I've been with Infosys for 28 years, and uh, now we have a new CEO in place. So, in some sense, I bring the continuity. So, we'll ask Mr. Sikka when we catch him, uh, what is he doing? But I want to ask you, what is different uh, with, what, which is happening at Infosys uh, under Mr. Sikka and, I mean, what it was earlier? I think we have now articulated a new strategy. It's uh, slightly uh, different from uh, the Infosys 3.0 we were talking earlier. Now we are talking about renew and new. Mm. So at a strategy... Let me get that right. Re renew and new. And renew and new. So okay. what we are saying is the uh, world around us is uh, uh, impacted by software and changes in the software technologies. Right. And uh, businesses, when we look at our clients, uh, they are uh, renewing their existing uh, systems, processes, landscapes. Right. Right. They are also uh, looking at new ways of engaging with their consumers, customers and so on. Right. Uh, so while it's an opportunity for us, we also have to look internally and renew our existing services, uh, make them much more agile, much more efficient right. through automation, innovation and so on. Right. At the same time, we also need to engage with, uh, have new ways of engaging with our clients, right. with their partners, ecosystems and so on. Mm. So there are a lot of new ideas, a lot of new thinking coming in and uh, I think in this short span of four to five months, uh, uh, Vishal, after the new management is in place, uh, we have been interacting with all the stakeholders and uh, we have seen tremendous amount of uh, positivity from all. In a way, it's like uh, the new government in, this, in the center. I mean, or is it too, going too far in that comparison? In some sense, yes, because I think... I mean, the sentiment before yeah. and the sentiment yeah. after. In some sense, yes, Modi is bringing in a lot of hope and other thing. And uh, from an Infosian perspective, I think, uh, given that we have went through some tough times over the last couple of years, mm. I think Vishal is also bringing in that amount of positivity and a lot of hope and excitement mm. uh, all through the organization. But in terms of culture of doing business, and I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Sikka always, uh, obviously comes from a, uh, from, from a U.S. company, he's worked there many years. So is there a culture difference as well? In a good way, of course. I think uh, it's uh, about more about, I mean, it's uh, regarded as a tech visionary. So there is a lot more focus on technology, a lot more focus on agility. And uh, he comes from a different background. So sometimes uh, uh, when you come from outside, you look at things differently and uh, then it makes, uh, and then it, uh, and internally also we are open to change. Uh, so it's a mix of both. I'm not saying culturally we are dramatic. No, I, you know, what I meant was Infosys always, of course, uh, work, are considered the good guys, right? I mean, the nice guys. Uh, is it now more aggressive and, well, uh, no, is there a culture difference in terms of how you... Yeah, I mean, we are, I mean, I will not call it aggressive, but I will see there will be a little bit more urgency in the way we do. We will see much more agility than we were this one. We were a little bit more conservative probably in the past, but now we will see a little bit more of... Uh, a uh, little bit, I would not call it aggression, but uh, less conservation, eh? conservative, I would uh, okay. articulate it that way. I mean, uh, less uh, conservative al also means uh, a acquisitions and, I mean... Yeah. We are, I mean, we are looking at acquisition and recently, earlier we used to have a hundred uh, million dollar innovation yes. fund, we yes. expanded it to 500 million dollars. Yes. Uh, so we are looking at investing in startups and uh, helping them. Because in today's world with uh, technology being this, uh, at the center stage, a uh, lot of uh, innovation comes from startups. So we, can, uh, we feel that we can partner with them, we can help them scale, we can take them to client, bundle their offerings and so on. And MND also we are actively on the lookout. You were telling me that this is your first year here in Davos, right? Uh, I mean, uh, what's, the, what's on your plate, what's on your agenda? Is, are you meeting uh, clients, yes, potential yes. clients? I mean, yeah, yeah we, we, have, uh, we are participating in few sessions, then uh, we are meeting with clients and obviously it's a great networking opportunity and a uh, lot of world leaders here and uh, so a tremendous amount of insights. So uh, we are here and this is my first time, so I'm here for the next five days yeah. trying to absorb everything uh, apart from meeting with clients, prospects and so on. I look, I'm really looking forward to this. Enjoy yourself, sir. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.